3D printed the 3D Lab Print Zero. This thing is awesome. It's printed out of lightweight PLA. It's nice and simple. It's a little park flyer. This thing came together really easy. Let me take you guys back to the workbench and show you guys how to assemble it. If you guys want to see more of my daily progress building all these airplanes, make sure to go check out my Instagram and my TikTok. Right, now that we have the fuselage done, I want to take a second to tell you guys about the 3D printer that I used for this build. This is the FL Sun Super Racer 3D printer. It's a Delta style printer. This is actually my first Delta style printer that I've used. I've been wanting to try one out for you guys for my channel. And this printer has a lot of advantages that will help a lot with 3D printing airplanes. One of the most common failed parts I have are the ailerons. Check out this aileron, how well it's printing out. It's very nice and clean. 
Look how perfect the print quality is. Now let's get back to the build and get that wing finished up. All right, this plane came together really easy. So this is 436 grams with all the electronics in it, with the motor, the servos, receiver, a 30 amp ESC. Uh, I have a nine by six prop, a 2830, 1300 kV motor, and then it has three nine gram servos. It's a hand launch model, so there's no rudder on it. So it keeps it a little bit more lightweight. So for the main, I'm gonna use a little bit heavier battery. I'm gonna use a three cell 2200 milliamp battery. That's gonna bring us up to 595 ready to fly weight. And that'll put the CG right where we want it. So let's go ahead and put the battery in it and see how this thing flies. Yeah, the CG is perfect right there. Check it out, doesn't it look sweet? All right, coming in for a low pass. It looks like it flies awesome. Yeah, this thing flies super good. I love the dihedral to the wing, it looks so cool. Honestly, I haven't flown planes for like three months, so probably being a little more conservative than I could be. I guess I could be flying this thing a lot more aggressively, but trying to just uh, get back into flying some RC planes again. 
Oh yeah. Wow. This thing can do some crazy fun stuff. This is a pretty cool little plane. All right, we're gonna bring it in and try to land it. Sun just came up behind us, so we're gonna try to land it coming this way. Sweet. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. That landed pretty good. So what did you think of that flight? Oh man, this thing is awesome. The wing on this thing is just like a perfect wing. It flies so good, holy cow, flew pretty good. I was kind of nervous to hand launch it because I, I was like, well, do I come on here behind the wing or like under the wing or what? It was kind of hard to get it, like figure out how I wanted to launch it. But actually, it's just because I was nervous for the first flight. Yeah. But once it flew, I was like, what? This thing flies awesome. So just, awesome. it was pretty sweet. It looks pretty cool too with no landing gear and stuff on it. It looks pretty cool. You're worried about the bottom here, but it didn't yeah. even yeah, affect was, it at all. Yep, I was worried about these servos right there, that servo arm. I was I was wondering if it was gonna catch on the grass and kind of break the servos. Because I only use plastic gear servos for lightweight and stuff, but it worked out pretty nicely and I made those little covers so that you don't really see the blue servos. You know, it looks pretty sweet when you're flying over it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think of it? It looks like it flew really awesome. Let's take it up again. Heck yeah. Yeah, let me show you. So I got the receiver sitting there. Most all the servos are wires are kind of heading back towards the tail there. The ESC sitting off to the side. And then I got the 2200 milliamp sitting right there. So it's it's pretty tight in there, but it fits in there pretty well. And like the CG is perfect as, I, as you guys just saw. So all right, we're gonna take this zero up for another flight. Thank you guys so much for watching this and we'll see you guys in the next build. It just flies so good. All right, let's give her some power and see how she does. Oh yeah, there's like 75%. All right, should we go barrel or backflip? Let's do a backflip. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, and that battery in there, I mean, it, it's a little heavier. You know, it's almost 600 grams ready to fly. It's like 595, but man, it flies great with this battery. I'd almost say this is the battery to use on it. That's pretty tough point, 2200 milliamp. You got tons of run time on it. Flies really good. All right, we're gonna bring it in front of our landing. Yeah, that dihedral makes it nice and stable coming into land.